YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with something kind of neat. So, we're going to take a look at this device in front of me. Now, before I get into it, I will say that I've reviewed something like this in a previous video a couple of years back. I believe it was back in 2016. We took a look at the Dell Venue 8 Pro, which was a Windows tablet. Well, for Christmas in 2018, I got another Windows tablet, and we are going to take a look at it in this video. So what is this thing sitting in front of me? Well, as you might be able to see if I get in here, there is a Windows logo. This is a Microsoft Surface Go. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, Microsoft introduced this in, well, they announced it, I remember, in July of 2018. I remember that because I was reading about it on the flight home from the NFB convention that year in Orlando. I purchased the Wi-Fi on the plane, anyway. Um, and I'd read about it while I was flying home. And I was intrigued because it was a Surface device with a lower price. Because the Surface Pro is a... it's pretty expensive. So I was excited when I heard about the Surface Go. So then in December of 2018, I got a chance to take a look at it at the Microsoft Store. It was a few days before Christmas, and I really liked it. I thought it was neat that it was so small, but yet it was a full Windows computer, and I thought it would come in handy for, you know, doing different work within Windows instead of me always having to reboot my Mac into Boot Camp. So after giving it some thought, actually, a member of my family bought it for me for Christmas. So, and I've been meaning to do a review of it since Christmas 2018, but I've just never gotten around to it. So, enough talk. Let's take a look. So it's currently closed. Now, I do have, actually, before we continue, I do have the type cover, I believe is what they call it. Um, so you'll be seeing that as well. But you're seeing right now the back of the tablet itself. In the front, I'll open it up. Now, as I said, I do have the keyboard, so you'll see that, but I'm not going to remove the keyboard. At least not right now, because I don't want to, to fight with it to put it back on. But um, you can see that there's the tablet. Actually, let me see something. Hold on one second. Okay, so what I've done is I've been able to actually fold the keyboard back behind it so you can see the tablet better. Now, it's currently in landscape orientation with the ports was the ports on the right side. So I'll describe this to you. On the back, when it's this way, you have the first button is the power button, and you have a volume button. So they feel very much like the buttons on an iPad. Then you have, for ports, you have a... Let's see if I can... Oh, jeez, that did not sound good. Yeah, you have a headphone jack, which you might be able to see right there, a USB port, a USB-C port, and the Surface connector. Now, put this back down. If you're familiar with older MacBooks, you may remember that the charger connected magnetically. That is how this is on the Surface, and it's pretty cool. That's one thing I do miss about my newer MacBook Pro is MacSafe, because it was really cool. But you can also charge this using the USB-C port, which is handy. I like that we have the option of both. And there's really nothing on the left. I think that's everything. I know there is a micro SD card slot somewhere, but I haven't really felt where that is. Feeling around trying to find it, but... I haven't been able to um, see that. Okay, so now let's take a look. I will go ahead 
and bring the keyboard out. Um, I'll show you how that works. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... Okay. Perfect. I was able to do that on camera. Um, so I just closed it up so you can see how this works. So what you need to do before you can open the keyboard is this has a stand and it's built into the surface. It's on the back and you can use this even if you don't have the keyboard attached. And what you do is you'll feel on either side there's a little spot where you could put your finger in and you just get your nail in there and you lift it back. So you can probably see that. Then when you open up the keyboard, the surface just nicely opens back and now you, you're, you are seeing the type cover. Now actually the reason why I got this too is for Christmas in 2018 the deal was that if you bought the tablet you got the type cover for free. So when I heard that deal I was like heck yeah I'm in. Um, Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll let you hear these keys first. Kind of has an interesting sound. Um, and there is a trackpad on the bottom. So it does feel like a mini laptop. It's about a 10 inch screen if I remember correctly. I meant to say that, so it's about a 10 inch screen on it and I have the baseline configuration I wish I'd gone with a step above it but unfortunately I didn't so what this has if I remember correctly it's a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor so it's not the best processor it's got four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage so again it's not ideal but when I thought about that day, I was like, that should be fine. But now I kind of wish I had gone with a little bit more. So this configuration was $399. All right, now I'm not gonna do too much into the software because it's a Windows computer. If you're familiar with Windows, then you're familiar with how this runs, but I will boot it up for you so you can see how fast it boots and also let you hear the sound quality of the speakers. It's not the best sound quality, but anyway, I still want to boot it up and show you. So I'm going to reach out now on the top, and as you can see, there are the buttons, and I'm going to press and hold that first button. Now I hope this um, screen won't be too glary. Let's see. No, okay. So you can see the Windows logo is up now. Again, this is running Windows 10. I don't know if I made that clear, but okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the phone down a little bit and I'm currently looking in the webcam, okay? Because this supports Windows Hello. So it used like face ID type to log me in. It's not as secure as um, Apple's face ID. And there it is. You've heard that we're on the desktop and JAWS is speaking to us. I will go ahead and quickly slow down that speech because as you might know, I like my speech pretty fast. Um, but let me go in here and slow it down. Hold on one second. And I've slowed down the voice. So now, if I go to the desktop with Windows D. Oh, come on. I went back to the... Okay, I didn't think it would do that. All right, let me permanently change it then. Again, this is not a tutorial, so <laughs> I'm having a little bit of fun. Okay, so... I will go ahead now and go to the desktop. Windows D. Okay, it must be already there. Let's see. Escape. Windows D. Okay. Just want I was trying to make it repeat. 
what was where where we were, but I'll just go to the start menu and exit. Okay, there you go. So you heard we're on the recycle bin. So this is a computer. Audacity checked. Backup and sync from Google checked. Firefox checked. FS Reader 3.0 checked. Google Chrome checked. So, as you heard, I've Google Chrome here. Google Docs checked. Google Doc, I know that's a short for that. Reader, Firefox checked. Backup and sync from Google checked. Audacity checked. Recycle bin checked. And then you can, you know, do all the normal commands. So if I do caps lock F12. I don't know what the time it was, if I do it twice. One Thursday, March 5th, 2020. The date. So as you can tell, it's, you know, normal Windows. But as you can see from the device, I'm back up for a little bit. It's small. I mean, that doesn't even take up this. I'm using a nightstand here to film because that's really what I have. Um, and it doesn't take up that much space on it. You know, there's still quite a bit of room on the sides. And so that, I believe, is everything. I'll just show you, you know, that course. Oh, really quick, I do want to talk about function keys, actually. So, I'll orient you a little bit to the keyboard as well. So, currently, what I've noticed to have the function keys work is on some machines, the function keys do, like, other functions, like volume and brightness. These can do that, too. But, of course, you might need them you know, to do your regular commands, like Alt F4. I like the way this machine handles that, actually. So on the keypad, at the bottom row, you have your control, at the bottom left, you have control. Next to that is your FN key, Windows, Alt, Space. Um, probably another they're all there and your arrow pad you a good look at that arrow pad there and but what I think is neat is that if you press the function key and it's lit the function keys behave as normal I know it might not be the easiest thing to figure out if you can't see but there is a light there and if I press it Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I didn't realize how hard that was to see on camera. Um, but the button lights, and when you press it again, it does not light. But what I've noticed is when it's lit, it does, the function keys do behave normally. Or you can just hold down the FN key while pressing the function keys to control what they do. So really quick, I will unload JAWS so you can hear NVDA run on this. Search box edit. Okay. Um. All apps checked. All Instagram. Number. Did not realize Instagram was on this. 3D viewer. Okay. Um. Escape. Desktop. Folder view. List view. Recycle. Bin checked. One of 26. I will now press... The command caps lock F four. Okay, now I have my jaws set to not confirm, so I just exited. And now we will launch NVDA. Okay, sorry it takes me a while to type one handed. And there it is, press enter. I have no idea what voice we're going to hear. <laughs> okay, there's a dialogue up here. I can see it. Let me alt tab. Oh, no. Copy of eloquence. Um, change that synthesizer.
So there we go. There's a normal NVDA speech. So there is NVDA. All right, so I think that's everything I wanted to show here with the Surface Go. Just wanted to show the hardware here. It sounds like, oh, we'll do a quick volume test. So again, the volume button is up here. If I'll press the up. Nice clicky button. Start window. Put on the window. Search box edit. Blank. That must be the full volume. Blank. Instagram. Number three. 3D viewer. Back up and sync. So there you go. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the machine down and I'll let you hear how, or see how quickly this shuts down. So to do that, I'm going to use Windows X to get into the menu Top here. Menu. And if I up arrow, Desktop D. Shut down or sign out submenu U. there is shut down or sign out. I will press my right arrow. Sign out I. Restart on. Shut down U. And up arrow and I found shut down, so I'll press enter. Secure desktop. JAWS FOR WINDOWS Ooh, taking a minute, it's like a- oh, there it goes. And it is shut down. So then when you close the lid, you just put the, um, stand down. It clicks down, and there you go. That is the Microsoft Surface Go. Now, it's a very lightweight tablet, by the way. I mean, I can comfortably hold this in one hand. This could be a good option for someone who wants maybe a smaller laptop for travel or you, know, you just want to have something with you. So it's a really good machine. I mean, it may not be the most powerful thing, but for my needs, it's worked out very well. This is what I use now for a lot of Windows applications if I want to run you know, a Windows program, I pull this out usually. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Microsoft Surface Go. Be curious to know what you think. If you think, if you feel like it, or think it's something you'd ever want to purchase, be curious to know. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you in next video we hope you have enjoyed this video if so please subscribe for more and feel free to comment also you can follow me on twitter at gallagher123123 thank you for watching and we will see you soon